Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your guy, Sabity Babity. I'm going to be showing you all how to install BlueStacks on your Mac to play all kinds of different app games, including MapleStory M. Before we get to that, be sure to like the video below, subscribe if you would like to see more, and check out the MapleHud Discord. Alright, so BlueStacks is an Android emulator, for those who didn't know. You can play all kinds of different apps that you would play on your Android phone or tablet on BlueStacks on your Mac or Windows PC. It works on both. So let's get to it. What you want to do is click on download BlueStacks. I'll have the, well, you could type in bluestacks.com or I'll have the link in the description below. Go ahead and click that and let that download. I will skip through the parts that, you know, require us some waiting time. All right, so my download's finished now and I went ahead and opened it up. As you can see, BlueStacks installer waiting for this to open up. Sometimes I do have to open it from my file explorer. And if you do, just go go to your download section wherever you downloaded it and open it there. Uh, right click it and hit open from there because sometimes it won't work for whatever reason, like you need admin privileges or something like that. So once you have this open, it'll say BlueStacks installer. Just go ahead and double click it. All right, so after I double click the installer, it went ahead and installed. And now that that's done, we have BlueStacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. BlueStacks runs best with the following enabled, App Store Access, and applica Application Communications. Uh, you need both of these for like your socials and to be able to access the app inside of the App Store. So once you have those there, go ahead and type in your admin password if you have one, and install BlueStacks. All right, so we're just about wrapping up here. We got the last few ticks. I love how we can make the mouse big on the Mac. It's hilarious. All right, so the download has finished and BlueStacks is open. And now this is going to open up. So you can select where you're from, uh, whichever country. I am from the United States, so I'm gonna select English, United States. And basically you just wanna go through this whole process. Uh, you're gonna be set setting up your Google account, uh, which is you know your Gmail account. So if you have one or if you need to make one, first go ahead and make one, then come back to BlueStacks and sign in. Once you complete all the pages after the initial sign in page, it'll say setup complete and you'll click finish. All right, so uh, this is the App Store, but this is not where you want to go to download MapleStory M. What you want to do is go to My Apps, and there's not going to be anything here. You're going to click on Play Store. This is the Google Play Store, which you will then be downloading MapleStory M on. It's actually a pretty quick download, too. I do like the emulators because they do use your computer's Wi-Fi uh, to use. So like typically when you're on mobile, you know, you kind of have a harder time with Wi-Fi or at least I do. So I like that I can use these emulators to be able to play all these different apps on my computer. Okay, so before we open up MapleStory M, I do want to uh, leave a warning here that if you are sensitive to flashing lights, then stop the video here or, you know, get somebody else to help you with this setup because when you are installing it on the Mac, it's not like this on the Windows PC, but on the Mac, when you open up MapleStory M, it's gonna have a blue border on the top. I'll show you in a moment. And once you change your resolution, it's gonna have some flashing lights and you're gonna have to kind of tweak with the camera. So once again, this is a warning to anybody sensitive to flashing lights. All right, let's go ahead and open up MapleStory M. Oh, I forgot I had it on my uh, my speakers on loud. Ripperoni. Okay. Actually, that's super loud. We're just going to leave it there. Technical difficulties. All right. So now we're going to be creating a gamer ID. This is for our Google Play account. And it looks like Mistaken Gemini is the name that they've given me. Uh, you can customize your name to whatever you want. Uh, let's just make this sabbity babbity. Because my other one is my main, uh, this is just kind of the one I'm using. Allow others to discover your gamer ID, yes. Allow others to see your game activity, sure. Sign in. It's going to save your profile, and this is the profile that you're going to use to be able to back up all of your information so that if you're on a different computer or a different uh, tablet or Android phone, you can sign into your Gmail account and do it that way. All right, so MapleStory M would like to view your basic info. Yes, that's fine with me. And there's that blue border that I was talking about. What you're gonna want to do to get rid of this is get in game, I'll show you in a moment. Uh, we do have a download, so let me do this really quick. And we are back. So what you wanna do, like I said, is to get in game. And you might actually need to create a character before you're able to edit the camera settings. Okay, so now we're in game. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create this character, like I said. 
doesn't really matter what it is to me. Let's just make a DK and name it Blobby. I feel like that name's going to be taken. Yeah. Blobby. Perfect. All right, so I did have to play a bit through the tutorial to be able to get to the options. But what you need to do is go to the options, and you can do that by clicking the three bars on the top right there, options, and go to effects. And this is where you're going to be changing the, car the camera. And once again, if you are sensitive to flashing lights, pause here. All right, so click change camera, and you're gonna want to adjust it a bit. And this is where it's gonna take a while to mess around with. Uh, it looks good, you know, right when you do it, but when you hit confirm, it's gonna be weird. So yeah, just gonna keep clicking change camera until you can get a nice resolution that works. Okay, so I opened up the game again now, and it looks like we're good so far. What I did was I changed my camera around a bit. It was really messing up a lot, and then it got back to the blue border. And then I said, okay, let me close my game and go back to my apps and restart it. And that's where we are here, and it looks like it's good. So it could be that you need to change your camera resolution, or maybe that you just need to reset the game for that blue border to go away. Either or, that is the way to fix it. Alright guys, if this video can get 50 likes, I'll do a video about the keybinds because the keybinds are a little weird on the Mac. Uh, if this video was insightful to you, go ahead and subscribe for more, like below, and leave a comment. I'd love to talk to you guys. It's been your guy, Sabity Babity, and until next time, peace.